If you really want to increase your power, speed and reactivity, what options have you got available to you? We're going to consider the triphasic method, the work of Cal Dietz, French contrast training and complex and contrast training. I was asked a question through the comments section from Mouet Duarte, I hope I've got that right, and he specifically questioned the work of Cal Dietz and what I thought about it, i.e. the triphasic method, and what's the difference between French contrast training and complex contrast training. Okay, let's kick off with the work of Cal Dietz and his triphasic method. This is a good book for any of you wanting to learn about how his method works and it's very, very detailed and very specific. Triphasic training is basically the name given to using eccentric, isometric and concentric muscular actions within a training program, triphasic. French contrast training involves utilizing four specific exercises in a set where the athlete progresses from one to two to three to four. Each exercise works along what's known as the false speed continuum. So you start off with a heavy compound multi-joint weights exercise, for example the squat. The second exercise is a plyometric exercise, so it could be drop jumps or jump squats for example. The third exercise is a faster weights exercise, usually, using a weight of around 30% of one repetition maximum. And the fourth exercise is a assisted plyometric exercise normally. So using bands, for example, to assist the transference from the eccentric to concentric portion when doing a jump. But you can also include sprints as the fourth exercise. So it is a very intense way of training along, as I've said, this force speed continuum. Cal Dietz has utilized and done a lot of research into French contrast training and in his book he explains a lot about it and how he uses it with his athletes throughout his various training programs. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about Cal Dietz's programming as you can look at the book and see a lot of his work online. What I will say, it is very detailed and there are a lot of exercises and phases that take the athlete through a preparation phase all the way through the competitive phase to a peaking phase and he's using an undulating methodology, so not linear methodology. So I'm incorporating all the elements that are going to produce optimum performance more or less all of the time, but waving the loading across the training year. So you're never short of speed and you're never short of power. And that's a very similar methodology to what Dietz uses. Now he goes through the phases. So he has a concentric phase, an isometric phase, and an eccentric phase, where the emphasis, but not the exclusivity of exercises is on one of those particular muscle killer actions. He also uses French contrast training and other methods to create greater potentiation and speed, reactiveness and peaking benefits. What's complex contrast training? Well, that methodology or those methodologies, I should say, combine plyometrics and weight training exercises into sets. Now, you can perform one plyometric set of exercises and then a set of weight training exercises and repeat that for the contrast method. Or you can complex three sets, for example, of weight training exercises, the squat, with three sets of drop jumps. So you perform all the weights exercise sets first, take your recovery, and then you perform your plyometric drop jumps, as would be the case that I've given. Okay, French contrast training, what do I think of it? Well, we have experimented with it in training, and I found it to be, or rather the athletes found it to be, very, very intense. You're doing four exercises which increase speed all the time. So, by the time you get to the fourth exercise, which could, for example, be a sprint, 
you're going to be potentially neurally and physically fatigued and if you're not used to that particular method of training then you're going to risk potential injury at worst and at least your performances are not going to do what they're supposed to do i.e. increase in velocity across the four exercises. Potentially if you were going to devote a workout once or twice a week to French contrast training then it could work in that you could heighten your neural and physiological responses to the methodology. Indeed, there is research that has shown how French contrast training has improved the performance of female triple jumpers, for example. If these triple jumpers were not doing significant amounts of power training in the first place, then of course French contrast training would benefit them, as would complex or contrast training. For the training mature athlete who's already utilizing complex or contrast methods, then adding in French contrast training may not produce any significant benefits and it could indeed be a negative. As a coach, I pour bits of training, ideas, thoughts into my training although I have a basic underlying training philosophy. So I'm adding bits and pieces, subtracting across the years that go by as a coach. So it's all about working out what works for you and your athletes and your training program and pulling in the bits and pieces and discarding those as you see fit across the training process. Always stick to what works and what you have found works. With the way that I train, i.e put in drills, sprints, takeoff drills, for example, in a training session with triphasic exercises, weights and jumping, then of course, so then tack on a French contrast training unit at the end is going to be very, very draining. I could continue to go on a lot more about this subject as it is central to my coaching philosophy, i.e. understanding how to increase power and speed. But this video is getting a bit long now, so I'm going to stop and may revisit it again. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this video, or indeed any of my others, then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. Do like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll know when I upload new content. And good luck with your training and any competitions that you may have coming up. Please do consider becoming a channel member. I post exclusive video content for coach athlete members on a monthly basis, for example. The latest video deals with how to return from slight injuries such as grade one hamstring strains. I take you through the protocols, procedures and drills which I use to get athletes back to fitness as soon as possible but as safely as possible. So do head over to the channel's homepage, click on the join button and go to the coach athlete tab to sign up to become a coach athlete member. There are also other memberships available such as channel supporter where you do just that. For just £1.99 a month, you help me to produce the content that's hopefully helping you become a better athlete and a coach. And of course, good luck with your training and any competitions that you've got coming up. If you're interested in the extremely portable and accurate free lap timing system, then do drop me a message. The system is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and can time end times and split times.